Boom, guys, you already know what it is. You know LT, aka Tanked Gamer. Now, as you can see today, right now, we are covering the 180 playable characters that are going to be in Sparking Zero. Now, for you that have been living underneath a rock, obviously, a leak has came out recently. I should show all the characters pretty much in the game. Well, I would take all of them, but I think you've, we saw around like probably 106 or around that, around that mark, anyways, yeah. But um, the reason why I believe this leak was done purposely was because at the end of the day, think about it. This game uh, was announced probably around a year and a half, two years ago, yeah, around that time. There was no leaks at all. You know, we didn't even know this game was being made, you know, in the works at all. But coming down to like the last month of this game's release, right? Everyone knowing and expecting that there's only gonna be 10 character slots left. We are then kind of brought with leaks, you know, like a, two day, a day or two days after the release of the GT characters coming to the game, right? Which was highly anticipated. People wanted these characters to be in the game, but there was one where the movie's character was gonna be. What it's done is it created a crazy amount of hype for people to just jump back into the, to the interest of the game again. So it gravitated everyone, anyone that wasn't thinking about the game too much or kind of thought, I'm not too sure. They're now telling their friends, bro, it's got every single character in the game. And if you notice how they look, the little trend, how they've been doing things, right? So once they drop like a, a early version of like Goku and the next minute you'll see like his, you know, his art style looks totally different. Because they know this is going to cause a reaction in the community. People are thinking, oh my god, they've been working this for time. These have been old stuff they've been putting out. At the end of the day, bear that in mind, right? So they've been dropping a lot of old content. Anytime a game is being released to the public for them to like, test out demos, these are old builds. These aren't the builds they're working on. This is not like, oh yeah, we worked on this last week and put it out now. No, these builds are probably prior to like maybe a month, two, three, or even longer than that, you know? So they've dropped these builds for the public to play at, um, to kind of build the hype, have their little experience towards it, and then for us to talk about, because you know at the end of the day, social media moves, right? You know what I mean? So if it moves and people are seeing updates about the game and it's just creating a little buzz about it, people are like, okay, oh my God, it's looking better and better and better, better when it comes out to the launch. That's why games, obviously they put out early stages of the games and you kind of progress and grow with it and you start to feel more in love with the more you see of it. Obviously that's how games are built anyways. There wouldn't be no point for them to say, oh look, this is the final product this is what it is bam done because that doesn't create a lot of hype obviously yeah it looks good but it doesn't create that emotional attachment people tend to have when it comes down to like you know being a fan of like the game community or anything like that really right so i mean and the reason why i do believe these these leaks were purposely done because again you look on um x now which is called and you literally just scroll and you write spark zero leaks now i'm not going to like extend too far on it but you see well just a prime example look you've got early reviews of characters that is so obviously if you want to check it you can kind of just review down there yourself but these are footage that Bandai didn't put out it was leaked by uh, I believe a Japanese company um, they they're kind of like I think GameSpot is over there or something like that but you can see you just scroll through and you'll kind of see like leaks pop up and things like that and so I believe if this leak uh, wasn't purposely done and they did want this to come down they'd be on top of it right you'd be having like lawsuits left right and center throughout to put the company that actually pushed it out and stuff like that you know and a lot of youtubers still haven't been taken down so look there's still content on it that was based around the 13th of september it's now the 15th of september stuff is still up um and again like i said since us being announced for the final 10 characters it only makes perfect sense because think about it if there was 10 characters left and they decided to do a last trailer for october or if say for example the end of september right what that does is they say and they announce okay but there's more characters there's 60 more characters added onto that 10 slot if they was to do it that way it wouldn't create the hype because like, that'd be last minute you know what i mean for example they have to do another trailer. well it would create hype that's a lie it would create hype but they have to do two trailers you know one based on the 10 character slots you see and the other one would be like oh yeah cool these are additional characters or they could have done the way where they said all right cool we are going to put out a trailer based around 10 characters and then say oh we have 60 more and then what that does again is people are unaware of it because the news isn't spreading as fast but Best way of it is leaking the whole 16 characters or how much character they showed in the leaks for um, what we see. And then after that, now announce and get the people talking about, oh, there's actually 100 playable characters now left. So that's already gravitated everyone's attention to say, oh, yeah, I'm look, I'm making sure I look at the next um, gameplay because um, the next trailer because that one's going to be huge. For example, like I showed, they wouldn't release box art saying 180, character, 180 characters so late. 
because that would just be weird you know they would make sense to kind of do it a month from early just to kind of get the hype spiraling and around and bear that in mind Sparking Zero comes out on the 11th of October right the leak surfaced around 13th of September so I mean probably near near to where a month so that's just I just feel that's perfect timing you know just for the announcements of this game to be saying that oh, we actually have 16 more characters you are unaware of these characters are going to be the game the fan base goes crazy it's great marketing they've done immaculate marking for Sparking Zero all the way from start to finish you know and i'm here to support it um you know what i mean but this is just my speculation it could be ups you know upsy turvy i don't know it could be going left right center whatnot in it but um you know what i mean if you want to be updated on more content like this you really know what to do like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one let's get it bow we out so they react, maybe go all stronger. See things go lit like a TNT wick spot. If they be launched at me, then I own guard. They need to retreat, they be beating us doing your pizza. None of bully in the freezer, heal up and cut like a wound cut season. Send like a ruler. Once in a blue moon, go ape like a GR. Don't you give a